Nothing like a big bang to get you class excited and big bangs don't get much bigger than the hydrogen bomb. Um, to do this experiment, which fits into the curriculum quite nicely when you're doing energy transfers or chemical reactions, um, or uh, when you're looking at renewable energy types, is uh, very, very effective. The thing is about hydrogen, it contains huge amounts of energy, uh, and when it's mixed with oxygen and ignited, the product is just water and, and a lot of energy released. To do this experiment, you must use a fizzy bottle, something that's uh, carbonated, otherwise the, the bottles are not might not be as strong enough to actually withstand the, the blast. It needs to be a ratio of two hydrogen, two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen, um, and have your bottles made up um, beforehand. Need to be put on a um, tripod and pointed in a direction that nobody will go past. This bottles can actually travel extremely fast. Uh, and in terms of safety, you have a safety screen, possibly best to sandwich it between two safety screens um, in order to protect yourself as well and to ensure that no students are around. For this experiment, make sure that they actually wear goggles and also for yourself, ear defenders are a great idea. Um, for the students, probably best to get them to put their hands over their ears, uh, but make sure they don't do it before you've finished your instructions or else they won't be able to hear what you're saying. Also, any particularly sensitive students, it's probably worth warning them beforehand that the bang will be very loud, um, but try not to spoil the surprise for the rest of the class. So safety screens are in position. I've got all my safety gear on, and all I'm going to be doing is unscrewing the lid of the bottle and putting the lit splint to the end. There will be a big explosion, and the bottle will blast across the, the lab, um, showing very effectively how much energy is contained within hydrogen. Today what we're going to look at is hydrogen as one of the potential fuels for the future. Um, at the moment we've got major problems with burning fossil fuels which creates carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases and all sorts of environmental issues. Hydrogen is actually a fantastic fuel because um, it's easy to find, there's heaps of it around, we can extract it quite easily from water uh, and it contains quite a lot of energy. How much? We're about to find out. So what I've got in this bottle is a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. Now when I set fire to it, you're going to actually need, can we have our goggles on please? And you're also going to need to put your hands over your ears. Not yet, because then you won't hear what I have to say. Thank you. So goggles on, could I have the um, lights off please? Could you come and light the splint for me? So in the bottle we have a mixture of nothing but hydrogen and oxygen and I'm going to set fire to it and we're going to see what happens. Thank you very much. Right, hands over your ears please. Okay, absolutely heaps of energy in hydrogen and the only pollution there, the only thing left is a trail of water going out there because as the hydrogen and oxygen react, it actually releases energy, which is that form of an explosion. Okay, thanks.